Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In the past few videos, I was continually repeating that you can set Home Assistant to send you notifications when you have uh, special events or special occasions, depending on some of the sensors. I want to be notified so I can go in and I could get notifications when the... So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can exactly do that. And we're gonna create a dumpster reminder that would uh, alert me every Monday morning to take out the trash for the dumpster truck to come and pick it up. To have flexibility with this reminder, I wanted to use WhatsApp, so I would use a service called Call Me Bot that is free and by far the most uh, easy service that you can use with uh, with your reminders. Hey, editing build here from the future. Unfortunately, I just realized that I forgot to mention that Home Assistant also has a lot of integrations with other notification services, so it's not just WhatsApp that you can use, but there is a list of many integrations that you can integrate depending on your setup and your location and your needs. So back to the video now. So to begin with, we first need to allow the Call Me Bot to send you notifications and you do that by typing the number and saving the Call Me Bot number as a contact in your contact list. And then you send a very specific string of characters that allows uh, the Call Me Bot to send you notifications. The Call Me Bot is a bit specific because you can only use it with the one phone number. So with yours, you cannot send to anyone else, but you just allow it to send messages just to your own phone number. So it cannot be abused and send spam to other people. Once you've activated Call Me Bot and given off permission to send you messages on your phone number, you're gonna get your API key and the URL that would send you a test message. So you can open that URL in a browser and you should receive a message if everything worked uh, as it should, which it did for me. So I then moved to setting up Home Assistant to be able to use this service and send notifications based on events that happen within Home Assistant. The very first thing that you need to do within Home Assistant is to set up a notify service. And for that, you're gonna need to modify your configuration file. The easiest way by far is by using the Visual Studio Code extension. And there are plenty of tutorials how you can set that up. Let me know if you're interested in videos like that so I can show you how I set up my Home Assistant server. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna directly show you how I did the service. So you would set up a name, you would set up your API key and your phone number, which from obvious reasons I have concealed here in the video. And after you save your configuration, make sure that you restart your home assistant server because in order for the service to be loaded and recognized, this needs to happen. Once the service is created, we need to go to developer tools and services so we can properly test it and make sure that everything still works that we are able to receive the messages. And from there, we need to find our service that we just created. So the notification service for WhatsApp as we named it. And in the data field, then you, you can send a specific message and hit the run button. So hopefully if everything worked okay and you have your setup working, then you would receive that message on your uh, WhatsApp account. If that is true and you received your message, then we can continue further on. And the next thing is to create an automation. The automation is created to be time-based. So on the trigger, we're gonna select the time and I'm gonna choose 7.30 a.m. because usually in my area, the garbage truck passes around 8, 8.30 at most. So I need to have the garbage out by, by that time. So every day the action will trigger at 7.30. Then I'm gonna add a condition again using the time to check if it's Monday because the dumpster truck only comes by on Monday. And if both of them are true, then I'm gonna select as the action to call the service with a very specific message. And in my case, that message is that I need to take out the trash. Once we save this, then hopefully everything should work now. So we'll wait a bit for the proper time to, to come. As of recording this video, it's currently Monday. So hopefully in a minute or so, we're gonna receive the notification. And after hitting the 7.30 mark, then you could see that I got the notification and it's currently telling me to take out the trash, which we'll do every Monday at 7.30. So, Whenever a specific condition is true, then you would receive your message based on your preferences. You can do this based on temperature, humidity, 
uh, or basically any conditions uh, within your Home Assistant um, setup. In my previous video, I made a CO monitor that I'll place uh, next to my pellet boilers. So if for some reason the CO levels in that room raise up, then I would get also notified and I could be notified about my irrigation system in, in the back garden or any other uh, like the temperature monitoring system that I did for my living room. Basically anything that you have within Home Assistant, you can get notified by it. And I think that this is really powerful and can create some really helpful scenarios and reminders and you would have a better system. And with that, I hope that you like this video. I'm currently in the process of making videos for every letter of the English alphabet as part of the alphabet superset challenge. And this is letter D. I made three other videos so far in this challenge and you can find them all in the related playlist that I'll link below and up in the cards. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers!